Miles Syndicate Music Hour, Miss Elizabeth. That is one of the unanthologized songs. Mm -hmm. It's not on Spotify. Mm -hmm. You will seek in vain, dear listener friend, if you go on Spotify or Amazon or mm -hmm. Google or whatever digital platform you prefer. There are many Smile Syndicate songs out there, but that is not yet among them. Mm -hmm. Who knows where that song will end up? Miss Elizabeth turned it down for Banana Bus. It didn't hard. Fit. It didn't fit on. It didn't it fit didn't. on that album. It didn't. It may yet find a home. Mm -hmm. And we're going to tell you later about how you can support the show, dear listener friend, yeah. on a proper platform. And, and doing that may get you access to these and other unreleased songs. My goodness gracious. That's right. We make these available to our supporters, but you can also find them on streaming platforms. Oh, Basically, any streaming platform. Only the ones that, that are available. This is not available. That's right. Well, but there's like more than, there's a lot there's of There's loads up there. Yeah. You, you, you'll get what you need, dear listener yeah. friend. Don't That's worry right. about it. Well, Smileton is bit deviled by many things, and one of them is a lack of proper news and news gathering and news delivering mechanisms, Miss Elizabeth. The, the, the evening news is a joke. The morning news is appalling. The lunchtime news is nothing to write home about. It's garbage, all of it. These people don't know what they're doing. They're biased. They don't even deliver news anymore. They, they, they're just talking head robots who deliver a stream of gibberish that doesn't help anybody do anything. If you ever saw a newscast ever, you'd come to Smileton and you'd think, what the... This isn't what news is, guys. I don't know what you're looking at, but it, it doesn't look like news from where I came from. And we say, get out of here, you big city, you big city know-it-all. We have Miss Elizabeth here to gather the news and deliver it property, properly. Smileton residents need the news, and we're here to give it to them good and hard with the Smileton News with Miss Elizabeth. Good evening, Smileton. Let's talk about some news. The Vanishing. Smileton officials confirmed rumors that have been sweeping through the town in the last few days. The Big Sky Bridge has disappeared. <sighs> Monday morning what? commuters noticed that the newly opened bridge was no longer in its regular spot in a canola field. And in days since, the cries for an explanation have grown louder. Were you not aware of this? No. The bridge has disappeared. Mm -hmm. This, this boot. Okay, I'll, I'll hold my commentary. Yeah. It's a surprising event, and, and uh, another surprising fact about this story is that commuters noticed, because it is a bridge <laughs> going nowhere. I'm surprised Smileton commuters noticed anything. Because it's not on a commute route. Well, that's exactly it, Miss okay. Elizabeth. I was going to make that comment myself. <laughs> Some angry residents are blaming the local magician community. As you would. We have a very active magician community here in Smileton. Noted local sorcerer, the astounding Ed, told this reporter, These people are nuts. Use your head. If one of us was going to make the bridge disappear, we probably would have announced it beforehand and made a big show out of it. It makes no sense doing magic tricks in secret. Boy, this town makes me wonder sometimes. Local psychologist Dr. Loki Friend went on TV to claim that the bridge, in fact, never existed and that the town had been suffering from a collective hallucination, probably due to the tainted Kool-Aid mix that had been recently added to the town's water supply. What do you think about that idea? We've tried it before and people... St oh, I'll hold my commentary, Miss Elizabeth. Okay. <laughs> This reporter traveled to the canola fields earlier today and can confirm that the bridge has indeed vanished. Without being able to cross that bridge, this town is at a crossroads. It's time to pull together, Smileton. We can make it through this. Wow, we that's a tightly packed bundle of nonsense mm -hmm. right there, Miss Elizabeth. You've I've, driven on this I, bridge. I've been on that bridge. Yeah. I know it exists. So, so you're telling me it has vanished. You went out there. So what's the logical explanation? This was a boondoggle from the day one. And I think what's happened here is Patty Pepper, our inept corrupt mayor, has probably taken the bridge, disassembled oh. it, sold it for scrap. She gets paid in both directions. Uh, complete boondoggle. Wow. Pretty I, smart. She's a smart, strong woman. <laughs> she's inept, Miss Elizabeth. She's corrupt. And she's obviously gotten to you, too. That's ridiculous. Plus, I love it. Yeah, you, you made an exactly correct point. Smileton commuters are complaining about this. You have to go out of town. The whole problem with that bridge is that it doesn't go anywhere. You go to a field. You go up across the field, down to the other side of the field. What mm -hmm. are you doing? You're, that's not a commute. It's like unless a, you work at that canola field. It's like a traffic ride. Yeah, you go out there, cross the bridge, come back into town. Yeah. Ridiculous. And, and oftentimes there's a traffic jam on that bridge. So you, <laughs> you, right. would, you would and have a, to wait anyway. It's 10 bucks to get yeah. on there. So th 
that bridge disappearing probably is the best yeah, thing that could t- happen. That's funny. It's, it's a, a toll bridge. It, it is. It, it probably <laughs> shaved half an hour off everyone's commute. So, you know, thanks. If it was a wizard who made that thing disappear, <laughs> thanks. If it was inept, corrupt mayors directing the demolition crews to sell that thing for scraps, so much the better. And if this bread shows up again next week, I wouldn't be surprised. Okay. Mr. T-shirt says, I pity the fool who doesn't wear the latest T-shirt sweeping Smileton. I'm going to stop right there, Miss mm-hmm. Elizabeth. I, Mr. T-shirt. Mr. T-shirt oh says, so I pity I know, the fool. I, I know you 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 protect your editorial integrity with the tenaciousness of a pit bull, but I would have put a red pencil straight through that headline because that's ridiculous, Mr. T-shirt. That's the, that's the business name. <laughs> Mr. T-shirt says, oh, "Our God. town sure loves a loves its T-shirts, huh. especially when they're emblazoned with some crazy design or slogan. These days, it's one shirt to rule them all, and practically everyone and their mother is wearing a Mr. Yacht Rock T-shirt." What? This particular shirt began showing up late last week, and local stores are completely sold out. Whoever the genius genius yeah. t-shirt designer behind this is they've got to be thrilled that their shirt is a runaway bestseller uh-huh. featuring a photo of jason from the yeah. smile syndicate music hour and the go. phrase mr yacht rock yeah this little number offers something for everyone this reporter <laughs> estimates that at least five thousand shirts have been sold so far and there's no sign of it slowing down anytime soon The entire broadcast team of Wake Up Smileton wore the t-shirts during this morning's episode and spent 20 minutes interviewing a person claiming to be the designer of the shirt. Mm -hmm. Whoever she or he is, kudos. Your t-shirt has brought us nothing but joy. Yes, I love it. What was it? Some anonymous ne'er do well put a message in the tube called me Mr. Yacht Rock like a couple months ago. Mm -hmm. Now it's a Mm t-shirt. Miss Elizabeth. Uh, you, you think you're the only one who, who has a nose for clues around this town and can track down a story. Mm-hmm. I've got my own set of peepers out there. Oh, yeah? I happened to be watching that terrible show, Wake Up Smile, then this morning, and I saw the interview with the t-shirt designer, and, it, and this was some person uh, behind a screen, shown only in silhouette with a voice changer. And some high heels. Yes, and I could recognize the phraseology used mm-hmm. by this person. I could recognize the cadence. I could use the recognize the word choice in Miss Elizabeth. I'm pointing both fingers straight at you. Are you, t- you t- this is, uh, you're under oath, Miss Elizabeth. Are you uh, the designer of this t-shirt? First of all, I refuse, I reject the idea of being under oath on a podcast. Don't secondly, avoid it- the question. And secondly, yes, it was me. <sighs> well, I don't know. I don't. And I'm offering these t-shirts for sale. And if any of our supporters would like a t-shirt, let me know. What? I will send you the link with the promo code so that you can get it. Yeah. Oh, I t- I, I I was I, I had it planned all the way up until the point where you actually admitted it. I wasn't expecting that, Miss Elizabeth. I don't know what to do with the information. I'm flummoxed. I think I, what you do with the information is profit. I, but you did not consult me about put me on a T-shirt with Mister Yacht Rock on it. You know, I think it's just a no-brainer when you see the design. Oh, well, I'm always the last to know. <laughs> and then there were three. Ready for story number three? <laughs> There's autumn in the air, and that means Smileton is preparing for Snowball Collapse 2020. Mm-hmm. Smileton and its neighbor, Gowers Gulch, are gearing up for battle once again, each town led by a proud Snow Queen. Yeah, I know a little bit about that. Mm. Because you were the... I was last year's Snow Queen. Yeah. Dear listener friend, if you were listening back in the December episodes of this very podcast, we told you the month-long story about me becoming Snow Queen, our hellacious month-long snowball fight with Gower's Gulch. Mm-hmm. It was a it was a stirring tale. It was an epic tale. It made Lord of the Rings look like a five-minute crappy cartoon. Okay, back to the news story. A news conference was held earlier this week to officially kick off Snowball Clips 2020 countdown, like the countdown up yeah, to the event. Yeah, pre-Super Bowl show. Smileton Mayor Patty Pepper greeted the assembled press and promptly dropped a bombshell. Accompanied by Gowers Gulch Mayor Goody Goodstone, Mayor Pepper stated, while it's important for towns to maintain their traditions, it's also important for us to keep these traditions up to date and relevant. In this spirit, Mayor Goodstone and I would like to invite 
Pickle Hills Deputy Mayor Jackie Jackson to join us in announcing that starting in 2020, the Snowball Calypse Snowball Fight will be a battle not between two f- two towns, but between three towns. What? What? This g- g- traditions being meddled with here, Miss mm-hmm. Elizabeth. Please join us in welcoming Pickle Hills to the fray. Pickle Hills Mayor, the yeah. actual mayor, Herbie Muldoon, when informed of the announcement, was taken aback. And he said this, huh, this is news to me. I didn't even know about any press conference. Oh, well, sounds like fun. Look how it's Smileton and Gowers Gulch. Pickle Hills is in it to win it this year. Miss Elizabeth, as speaking as Smileton's reigning snow queen, I got to tell you, this, this, this reeks of madness. Mm-hmm. Well, Three if towns, Pickle Hills thinks uh, that they can win, how their do we first even calculate? Year... We're stuck in the middle. Smileton is going to be the battle zone. The, oh, this is an I don't, I don't know what to do about this, Miss Elizabeth. I I was going to throw my hat into the ring once again to repeat as Snow Queen. Are you scared now? I, I got a lot of calculating to do. Yeah. They're, they're going to be attacked from both sides. And I understand that you, you've been behind the scenes because of your heroics during last year's snowball clips. You're trying That's to claim right. that a woman should be Snow Queen, upsetting a, a decades of tradition. I'm just stating a fact. Uh, well... Well, we'll see, Miss Elizabeth. If we want to go head to head with the current Snow Queen, step right up. We'll see who the winner is. Mm-hmm. Either way, we got a big job in front of us. Whichever of yeah. us that, well, that makes it, that so, two towns so does, to deal with. So does Pickle Hills. I mean, there's no way that they can. I uh, think we got to start against... prep. We don't have snow yet, but we got to start prepping right now. Mm-hmm. Turning now to the world of sports. <sighs> Let's run down the scores for the Smileton Northside Community Street Hockey League. Are you ready? I am. The pants down gong shows showed up wasted and got their keisters handed to them on a platter by the surging Smileton Cribbage Society 15 2. Boy, those pants down gong shows. They're they are hilarious. Mm. There's a lot of funny teams in the league. This this yeah. season has been pretty good. Like the high jinx, the high spiritedness, showing up wasted, that's that's pretty classic material. But you it, when when the when the whistle goes and that tennis ball gets dropped, you gotta you gotta put the you gotta put the effort in, you gotta play hard. And the at the Smileton Cribbage Society, you think they're a bunch of retirees, all they care about is crib. They're there to win, Miss Elizabeth. Yeah. They're cheap shot artists. They they'll do what it takes to win in the in the gong show the pants down gong shows learned the hard way. That's right. So pull your pants up, pants down. The Jennifer Conleys edged out the Endless Night Goth Guild 4-3. to three. Well, Always a good contest. Yeah, and that was actually closer than it should have been. I'm a little bit disappointed in the in the Jennifer Conleys well, this week. Come yeah. on. The, the, that Endless Night Goth Guild, they, they're just a bunch of mopey gusses. They don't really play that hard. Uh, you know, they usually have, like, they're so apathetic that they, they'll they have too many, too many men yeah. on the ice. Frequently, they'll be shorthanded when they get called on it, and that Jennifer Connolly power play should have been deadly as a sniper attack. And yeah. to only squeak out a four to three, I don't know. You, yeah. you, you gotta you gotta work on that Jennifer Connolly. Yeah. You don't just get a, a a red carpet straight to the championship. You gotta fight every week. Yeah, I think the Connollys are starting to feel a little bit too comfortable. That's right. That's the problem there. The Howdy partners showed up with a great attitude and no skills, and went down hard against the red hot masked bunglers, eleven to nothing. Well, yeah. New, new to the league, Howdy Partners. You know they're naive. That's a Howdy, by the way. That's a nice hello. It's but you know they're, they're they came in, they're all grins, they're all smiling. Hey, yeah. folks, here let's have a nice game. And then they just got shellacked. Yeah, they got annihilated. It's Once... almost like they just wanted to have fun with the community hockey yeah, league. Yeah, that's ridiculous. This isn't a joke. <laughs> It's like, have have you not been doing the update long enough? Were you we, like, do yeah. we not convey how intense the competition it's intense, is? Yeah. Like, you yeah. show up all smiles, no practice, no skills. Yeah. You you get fed through the meat grinder, and that's, that's right. what you deserve. Yeah. The Golden Gates Bible College had a miraculous rally in the third period and triumphed against the Smileton Exotic Dancer Dance Crew eight to six. Boy, talk about an anticipated matchup. Those Bible College boys—they put in a solid effort week in and mm-hmm. week out. They—they've been climbing the ranks in this league like nobody's business. But with the ritz and razzle dazzle and glamour of of those exotic dancers showing up, and everybody was wondering, well, how good a street hockey? Like, how good are they going to be? And it turns out pretty damn good. Yeah, that's Ms. right. Miss Elizabeth, they, they, they got to work. They mm-hmm. were all business despite all the hooting and hollering of yeah. the audience. They just tuned that out and they were peppering those tennis balls at the Bible College boys like, yeah. like, like a machine gun. Yeah, they had trouble. That was an exciting sure. game. That yep. was an exciting game. I like that one. The Smileton Community Outreach Association returned from suspension and fell to the Smileton Transit bus boys. Four to two. Well, I gotta say, I didn't like this game very much, and I was up close and personal with it because I refed this game. Mm, how do you get that job? I volunteered. Oh, 
I'm a booster of the league, Miss Elizabeth. <laughs> Haven't you noticed? Yes, I have. Like, I, every Thursday, there's a trivia night. Mm-hmm. Smile to Northside Community Hockey League, uh, Street Hockey League. Trivia night. I, I rule at that thing. Oh, okay. I, I bust down the doors. No one gets anything by me. So it got noticed in, 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 in the head office. Yeah. So they asked me if I wanted to ref. And I said, sure. And they said, you ever ref before? And I said, no. And they said, well, it's street <laughs> hockey. Who cares? And I... <laughs> I was disappointed because I take it more seriously than they do. But yeah. boy, those Smileton Community Outreach Association goons, they're su- aren't they supposed to be helping people, Miss Elizabeth? Isn't mm-hmm. that their mandate? You never saw more spearing and hooking and fighting and clutching and grabbing. They, they, their, their, their rule-breaking antics got them suspended from the league. They're back. They, they haven't learned one thing. Mm. Well, sometimes that is the fun of watching the sport. Well, I had to keep that, I had to keep that chaos under control control and and those smile transit bus boys mm-hmm. boy oh boy i don't know if they belong in the league we should have like we should set up a farm league mm-hmm. for the community ah. street hockey league because these guys were stumble bums <laughs> well time... i tried to help them i tried to call as much as i could against those uh, the criminally sociopathic smile and community outreach association it, uh, they were only able to beat them four to two. So, bus boys, you got to meet me halfway next time. Mm-hmm. Well, time will tell. And finally, speaking of time, Smileton Time Officer Brady Benchley has some advice for town residents concerning the upcoming move back to standard time. Mm-hmm. As you know, we're not currently on standard time. No. Says Brady, instead of all of us jumping back to standard time at the beginning of November, I have devised a phased approach. I have divided up Smileton into seven sections, or time zones, if you'll pardon the pun. Each of us must determine which section or zone they live in and adjust their clocks for the remainder of the month accordingly. For example, if I live in zone one or five and my last name begins with K or L, I would adjust my clock back 43 minutes this Sunday and then 17 minutes forward on the following Thursday and then... 53 minutes back the following Wednesday. Oh, I'm with you so far, Miss mm-hmm. Elizabeth. If I live in zone two or I have a detached garage on my property, I would move my clock forward 18 minutes this Tuesday and leave it there until after Christmas. Similarly, zone three residents should adjust their clocks one minute back every hour on the hour in late October, you will receive a special communication instructing you to now move your clocks forward by one minute, each 52 minutes. That yep. sounds complicated, but it's actually easier than it sounds. Oh, yeah. It's, it's really obvious. When November, the first rolls around, we'll all meet up at our destination one hour back from our current time today. This is going to be great. Smileton. This is my favorite time of year. If you'll pardon the pun. When it comes to knowing what time it is, there's none better than Smileton's own Brady Benchley. Okay, first thing, when it comes to pardoning puns, you get one from me, not two. Brady <laughs> Benchley, you ask too much. Forget This is an out-of-control, bureaucratic... <laughs> toady. He's he's one of our inept corrupt mayor's okay, Patty okay, Pepper's pets. Okay, okay, the slow, Smileton slow Time Office. He Why? wants us to go back. He's made this on, insanely we, complicated. You don't need to repeat the story. My question to you is... <laughs> Why are you actually angry at him? He's doing a good job. He's being he's very He's not detailed. doing a good job. He's being very informative. Can't you just let a man live? He's not letting us live, Miss Elizabeth. That's the problem. <laughs> we get these ridiculous Rube Goldberg instructions about how to move our clocks back one hour. Who how does that help? Who doesn't love a Rube Goldberg? Me. Because, oh, really? yes, because what's going to happen with this? Every single person in Smileton will have a different reading on their watch. We'll all be in a different time zone. How does that help? Well, I'm 17 minutes back. You and you're 13 minutes ahead of me. It's nonsense. This Smileton time office ought to be mothballed. Okay, I don't know if you've noticed, but here in Smileton, the time does seem to operate a little bit differently in different areas of the town. So Brady Benchley has his work cut out for him, and he is working as hard as he can. I don't. He is really putting his tuck, took us into gear here. <laughs> trying to get the time under control and helping the citizens to understand why the sun seems to be going down at different times when they're in different places. So, you yeah, know, I, I just liked give the man Miss Elizabeth, I, I, Miss Elizabeth, I liked you better when you were a newscaster and not a, an apologist for our, our inept, corrupt mayor, just Patty Pepper's regime. Commentary is all. Anyway, that is it, it for this edition of the Smileton News. I'm Miss Elizabeth. Good night. Out of sight.
Well, Miss Elizabeth, for the most part, I got to thank you for that hard-hitting update. Oh, thank you. It's so unusual to get applause after the news, but I seem to always get them. Well, they want the show to be over so they can get onto their eyes wide shut party. And too bad, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, we're not done yet. We got to direct you to something very important, and that is smilesyndicate.com it's on the, the best internet. website. Oh my goodness, who made that website? It's amazing. Well, I don't know. Some some third party in a foreign country somewhere. I don't know what. We just <laughs> sent them some vague instructions. They dropped this website on mm -hmm. our laps and we said, "Thank you, ladies and yeah. gentlemen. That was a good job. Well done." And there's a there's so go there, check it out. We have information about the show, you know, about where you can find us on social media. You go media. onto a website, and some of the little words are like different colors, and you click on them, and they go to different places. It's wow. so much yeah. fun. It's it's, it's it's like you're tumbling across the internet. You're not exactly sure where you're going to wind up. No, it's like it's 1993, Miss Elizabeth. <laughs> Two sites you got to check out, dear listener friend: Patreon.com, Locals.com. Mm -hmm. It is there that you can go. Look up the Smile Syndicate and choose your level of support and become an official citizen of Smileton. That's right. You support this show and we support you right back with mm -hmm. exclusive content, behind the scenes video footage, a whole other video show called the Smile Syndicate After Dark, song downloads, sneaky surprises, all kinds of good stuff and direct contact with us. Mm -hmm. we'll, 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 we'll give you the time of day if you're a supporter of we the will. show. And we're going to thank you directly right now. I want to give a great big thank you and a shout out to Eric, North End Kid, Chris, Little General, Adam, Ian, Truman, Jim, Son of Bauxite, Josh, and Mark. You, you good people. Tremendous. Thank yeah. you, as always, for supporting the show. You mm -hmm. are the fine line that are that's keeping me from doing the table flip and saying to Hades with this show, that's no right. more, too much, mm -hmm. two times a week, ridiculous. Whose idea was that? I can't do it anymore. The joyful treadmill will destroy me in the end, Miss Elizabeth. <laughs> well, it won't. I'll, 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 I'll help. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. And here we are at long last at the marquee song slot, that most coveted spot in all the podcasting, that central showcase for Smile Syndicate songs. Oh, today we're going to feature a delightful one. If this is one of the four songs that's part of the nude song cycle. This one's about nude hitchhiking, and it is called Magic Mile. Listen. Magic Mile by the Smile Syndicate on the Smile Syndicate Music Hour. And this one actually is available on streaming platforms it's where you can everywhere. find this one and other three-minute energy bars that are going to pick you up, pep you up, and set you on your way with a better day. That's right. That's that's the whole point, Miss Elizabeth. That's and right. we delivered it to you a brand new song mm -hmm. last week, Ten that's Fingers, right. Nine Toes. Yeah. A new song is underway right now. There's more new songs coming. And once that... Once that pot gets filled up to the top and starts boiling over that means it's time for a new smile syndicate album to appear on That's the right. digital streaming platforms and that is coming soon don't you worry about it what else is coming soon miss elizabeth two all new episodes of the smile syndicate music hour coming straight at you next week monday and thursday Whew. it's a lot of show well this one's done it's been fun Miss Elizabeth, take us out. That's it. We hope you enjoyed the show. And if you did, please consider becoming a citizen of Smileton by supporting this podcast on Patreon and Locals. Join the podcast supporting elite, enjoy exclusive content and access, and keep us on the joyful treadmill, producing fun time content week in and week out. Please tell a friend about this podcast. Spread the word. It makes a difference. Let's grow this family. So it's bye-bye from Jason. Bye-bye. And bye-bye from me. See you on Monday. And as always, remember, friend, the sun is a jukebox. Good work. Good work. Thank you very much for watching this Smile Syndicate video. If you liked it and you want more, come on over to Locals.com and you can check it out for free with a promo code. See you over there. Father said.